Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to do a quick tutorial here for anybody who's having a hard time to install Polo. So what we're going to do, this is a fresh start. So we're just going to add the repo. And for everybody who's asking, what's the, what's the repo? It's pinned on the Apollo uh, Help and Support Community Facebook page. It's right here. So we're going to go into File Manager. We're going to add the source. And we'll just call it Polo. And go back to System and Add Ons. Install some zip files. Click on the Apollo. Click on the plugin wizard. Just wait for it to finish installing. And the add-on is enabled. So we go back. System add-ons program add-ons. Here you got the Apollo wizard. Click on the Polo 6, wait for it to download. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what's been happening to me is that it downloads correctly. Once it's trying to extract, it extracts up to like 5 or 7% and then it wants to force close. So I have like only half the files. So we'll see if this happens again. But in the meantime, while this downloads, uh, if you're having problems with Android, this is Windows. So I'm going to show you how to get to your Android files. Pretty easy. All you need to do, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Let's just get this uh, FTP server. So just install this APK on your Android machine. Once that is installed, all you got to do is just follow these three steps. Choose your Ethernet or Wi-Fi. check mark on high priority and also make sure you use a username and password choose the root directory and that's it all you got to do is just click this button and it's going to tell you your username uh, I mean your uh, IP and port I'm going to be using this on your Windows machine. So once you've done that, all you got to do on Windows is install any FTP client. Uh, for example, I have uh, Flash FX boot installed. So I open up my Flash. This is my computer. All you got to do in Flash FXB is just add. IP address and your port, click apply and connect. Just like this. That's it. My files are, that's, this is my Android machine. So my Kobe is Android. There you go. These are my files here. So I'll show you why in a minute. almost done just remember that when this downloads you're actually downloading the zip file which will need it's located in your app data folder <coughs> Kodi add-ons and packages you see the Apollo 6 here once it finished downloading that's going to be about like 100 uh, megabytes. This is the file that you need. That's going to be the build. So we're going to see this time if it's going to install properly or do the same thing it's been doing.
so you see it's, it says download complete but it was only extracting it was only starting to extract right so in windows you don't have to unplug it obviously you just click ok and it will force close so even if you do control delete it's the same thing so as you can see it, it wasn't even done extracting force close came too early again so let's see what it did and I'm stuck with this, the same thing. So, this is what you have to do. I'm going to go back on my app data folder. Actually, I don't know from start. So, we're going to go to start on the computer. Look at this C users, your username, at data folder. If you don't see it, just go in view and just put a check mark and show him files roaming folder and your Kumi is here or much simpler just go to your search here and just type percentage at data percentage click enter and it brings you right here and then you want to go in your Kumi folder your add-ons and your packages and then your zip folder fully downloaded it just didn't install so if you look at the add-ons, only have the add-ons in there, there, it was just only starting. So what you need to do is close Kodi. Come back to your zip file here. Your full build. Click on extract. It just extracted, or... What you can do is just open it up and just back up here to your Kodi. Right here. Just take all this and drag it and drop it here in your main Kodi folder, overriding all other files. For Android, I had to do the same thing, so that's why I got the FTP to connect to my Android pretty easy. So we'll let this finish. So it's going to ask you if you want to replace, so replace all the files. And we're done. Close this, close this, start the Kodi, and voila. So we should have the latest build. 6.4.8. That works perfectly flawlessly. Now on Android, I had to do the same thing. It's not because it's force quit the problem. The problem is it's not extracting correctly, right? So let me shut this down. I'm going to show you quickly. Uh, if you install the FTP server on your box, Pyre Stick, or whatever, what you want to do is it's either you download a client for your computer or you can do F. FTP, put your IP address here, and your port, and just click enter. So that's it. You'll be your, your files are going to be there. And what you can do is take the same zip file. So my code is here. Code here. Add-ons, packages, and here's the build right here. You can, you can take that out of there now. You can. Cut it and put it on your desktop, for example. It don't matter. You want to extract it right here on my desktop. Make it more simpler for everybody. So now I'm going to start up my client. So this is your computer here. And this is going to be the droid. I'm going to go to desktop. And I'm going to find... files here it's almost done extracting all right so you got add-ons media and user data those three folders we'll make a folder on polo and here there 
there you go so it's right here a folder here in files i need to put on my android so let's connect i had files in that other queue by accident so i'm just going to restart this real quick delete all Shield. So I browse this to my Apollo folder, desktop, Apollo, and I'm going to go to Android folder, data folder, Cody folder, the files, Cody, and here it is. All you, got, all you need to do is right click and transfer, selected, it's going to transfer, and that's it, you're done. Thanks.